Hi there, this is RG Yoho again. I'm going to take a few minutes of your time here today. I don't want to talk to you about why authors make really bad television. You know, almost any other skill, profession, or trade has some interest from the public. Almost everything you can think of, almost anything you can name, somebody will watch it on TV. For instance, you talk about building contractors. Uh, they can come on TV. People will watch them. They'll watch them to see how they how they frame out a house, how they install a window. And people will watch this, and they'll try to learn uh, these tips and and try to learn more about it. Maybe they want to learn how to you know such as uh, how to install a window in their own home. Maybe they just want to learn the things they need to maintain the home they have. Almost anybody will sit around and watch a building contractor because they'll learn things as they watch. And it's also interesting to watch. It's just good television. You know, people will watch uh, almost anything you can think of. Uh, people will even watch, uh, there's genealogists that, that search back through your family history and, and, and they learn who you were related to and how uh, the people got to where you are today on your family tree. And, and it's fascinating to go back and search your family heritage. And people watch it on television. There are shows such as that, this that people watch every day. And it's fascinating to watch. Uh, there are even people that will watch politicians. Politicians have a, a channel on C-SPAN where people come watch them do what they do. And and they will, I really don't understand it, but they'll watch them mess up things worse than they already are, and they'll come and watch it in great numbers. Well, probably not as much as the other kind, but there are people that will watch it. There is a market for it. You know, uh, there's shows like The Voice and other things that people will sit there and watch, and and uh, people will come demonstrate their talents on it. Uh, singers. People watch singers all the time. It's, those shows are fascinating. Many of you watch them, no doubt. And, and they're fascinating to watch. It, while they sing, while they practice, while they learn their songs, people will sit there and watch it. And it's well worth watching, and it quite often gets pretty high ratings. People will watch dancers. They will watch them practice. They will watch them perform. And it just it generally makes good TV, and people watch these shows, and they get high ratings as well. People watch this. And you can put magicians on television. Folks will come and see them do what they do. They'll come watch a magician, try to figure out how he accomplishes his tricks and, his, uh, and, and the things that they do. And we'll sit there and watch them, and, and you'll try to figure out how they do what they do, but I guarantee when the program's over, you don't have any more idea how they accomplished it than I do. It just It's just difficult to uh, understand how they pull these things off. You know, you think it may be a trick of the camera, but a lot of times you see it isn't. But there's some trick somewhere, but none of us know what it is. But because of that, they'll watch it. But then you come to artists such as uh, writers. Uh, nobody will watch that. Nobody cares to. Artists such as painters, people will watch them. Uh, they'll sit there, and Bob Ross used to be on TV since passed away, but Bob Ross for years was on PBS, and he would come on every week, and he'd take a blank canvas, he'd lay out his paints there on the table, and he'd begin to start painting. And from that white, uh, that white canvas, you would see a landscape or a beautiful picture emerge, just the way he applied paints to canvas. It was fascinating, and, and, and he had a really bad haircut, and I, I don't know if that contributed to it, but people remember him because of that. But he'd come on there, and, and he whispered quite a lot. He had a pleasant voice. He did he never upset you. He, he'd keep real calm, and he'd talk about, oh, we're going to draw a happy little cloud or a happy little tree. And then he'd do this, and you'd be amazed. He made it look so easy that you, probably you thought you could do it yourself. But I don't know about you. You couldn't do it. I darn sure couldn't. I never could accomplish that. But he, he did it every week. And it was fascinating to watch. People, it's still broadcast today. And I can't, I've got to admit, I still watch it from time to time. But nobody, nobody wants to see a writer do what he does. Nobody wants to see him take a, a piece of paper and shove it into a typewriter. Okay, I just dated myself here. We don't use typewriters now. Many of you may not even know what one is. 
but that was something back in the old days when I started writing. But now, nobody wants to sit there and look at our blank screen and watch us take his keyboard and type on it and uh, put words to paper, put uh, letters and words and sentences and phrases and uh, paragraphs and, and, and maybe pages together until we have a book. Nobody will sit there and watch it. It makes really bad TV. I was talking about this to a friend of mine recently, and he mentioned that Monty Python once did a script on this, a script uh, play on this, like he was uh, broadcasting it and a uh, writer doing what he does and i'm sure yeah, it it was it was comical because nobody wants to see a writer do what writers do it would be boring you won't watch it it's pretty pretty certain that i wouldn't watch it either it'd get bad ratings and it won't be on television very long and that's why i'm not going to try to show you too much of what i do in writing i'm going to talk to you what i do in between those moments i may talk to you a little bit about the writing we're going to show you what I do between that and, and a and trust and a hope that it's something you will enjoy watching. If you've enjoyed this video or you maybe got a laugh out of it or learned some, I trust you'll hit like and subscribe. Perhaps you'll visit my website at rgoho.com. We trust we'll see you soon. I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much. Bye for now.